Hello, I'm just working on this Karcher pressure washer. If your washer sort of cycles and uh, hasn't got uh, good pressure, 10 to 1 it's leaking. And these leak and the three seals is a swash plate and three plungers come up and produce the pressure I'm sure you know. And they get microscopic cracks in them there you go, as does the top piece which sits on top. And if you knock that out, that plastic piece also goes. Now you can look at it as hard as you like and inspect it, and you can see nothing wrong, but it isn't till under pressure that my minute cracks open up. And I found out how to show this, but it won't always show, but I've just blown out water and I accidentally, so I can get it in the camera, if you look at the top edge here, sorry about the lighting but I'm just doing it as I can, that should do it, if I put pressure on here, see if you can see that, and you see little bubbles coming up, just bare, I don't know if you can or not, I'm just looking at the small viewfinder. But it's a hairline crack running down here. And that's all it takes. Is it worth replacing? But if you know it's this, then yes. If you know it's the three seals, then yes. But um, it doesn't take much to stop these. Why do they make them in plastic? Well, we know why they make them in plastic. Oh, I forgot to mention that this plastic piece, let's take that O-ring off, if that's what you call it. This piece, if I can get that off, yeah. There's little seals in here. Let's have them out. There you go. They too can have microscopic cracks in them. You can look at them under a microscope almost and you don't see it, but uh, it only shows up when there's pressure. Put them in the right way round, by the way. You can buy these. They go in that way. And you'll note I've got my hand over the end to save losing all the little springs and valves that are this end. It's a bit fiddly. But, um, and those of you that uh, probably noticed I put my thumb over the end and probably going to jump up and say, you know, that you can get air into your body through your skin. Well, it wasn't high pressure, that high. And that particular thumb was a, <laughs> a bit like a rhino's skin. So no problem there. Anyway, I'll keep my finger on that. So this part also can go, but how you would check that I don't know. As I say, you can go over it with a, a jeweler's loop, which I often do. And as I say, you can't see them. Um, again, why don't they make that out of something more substantial? I suppose it's the cost, really. These are the three little plungers that leap up and down. I won't take that off because... There's an oil bath here, and you do not want to empty that. That's damn expensive stuff. So, just a quick, uh, quick chat on the um, Karcher pressure washer. There's several O-rings all over the shop. If in doubt, replace them. But uh, if you're having this cyclic problems. It's there where your problems are. Good luck.